Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision. Today I'm going to show you how to create some glitch effect on text in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, first thing we're going to do is select the type tool which is located right here or select the letter T and click. Press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to go with the old school free font which is called Monster Rat. And I'm going to do with the italic version because it looks pretty cool uh, from here i gotta go to object and expand Click okay and we're gonna need to slice this up into pieces so uh, you're gonna need to basically select to this the rectangle tool and just draw one should be big bigger the other should be uh tighter and you just need to figure it out, you know, just go with the flow, just test it out. Right now I'm just freestyling, you know. Okay, so basically it looks like this. I'm gonna right click, group, select both, arrange, vertical align center. I also gonna press this, press and hold alt and pull this in. And from here go to the pathfinder and go with the what is that? Divide. Click on the divide. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder, which is located right here. Right click and select on Group. And now here we're gonna, you know, delete the unnecessary part, which is, for example, this. And here it starts the letter P. I'm gonna need to delete the interior side, like this, and so on and so forth. <music> All right, now we're gonna need to group all the lines, the horizontal lines, but separately. For example, I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna select the top ones, the top lines, which are like in this thickness. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna group. And the same goes, you know, with, with every each. So everything is organized. Everything is grouped. I'm gonna select, actually, I won't select. I'm just uh, gonna do it separately with every each and you just need to press the left or right. For example, I'm gonna go with this uh, on the left. So I'm gonna select the second one also, go to the left, test it out. For example, this is too much on the extreme. So uh, it starts to become glitchy. Actually, you know what? I also gonna separate these two from the rest there you go now you can see some more intensity in the design and I also might do it with this see that and I'm also might create like more distance there you go uh, yeah this is it I'm gonna select them all right click group everything is uh, organized uh, I'm gonna press and hold alt drag it to the left also press shift to isolate it i'm gonna select the color for this i'm gonna go with a red i'm gonna right click where is that arrange send to back so now it's in the back i'm gonna create a new copy press and hold alt drag it to the right press and hold shift until it goes to the opposite side i'm gonna recolor this to i think to cyan and um you also can exaggerate with it. There you go. Uh, another thing, I'm gonna select both of these, press and hold shift, select both, and go to the, where is that? There you go, to the transparency. I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't know, not multiply. Let me try out some other. And anyway, this is how you make a basic glitch effect in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the other videos as well. Have a good one. Bye bye.